Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and we're back in Las Vegas visiting the Strip again and this is part two of our four-part series of the Strip. Today we're going to visit the south central area of the Strip, the hotels and casinos as well as attractions. Some of the places we'll be visiting are the MGM Grand, the Park, T-Mobile Arena, Park MGM including Italy, uh, the outside of the Waldorf Astoria, the uh, Aria, and the shops at Crystals, the Cosmopolitan, the Bellagio, Caesars, and the shops at Caesars. If you missed part one of this series, make sure you catch it after watching this one, and make sure you keep your eye out for parts three and four coming up shortly. Our first stop here is the MGM Grand. We're entering the MGM Grand through the uh, Vegas Strip walkway, the overhead walkway, so naturally we're going to be entering the complex on the second level. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout-out on an upcoming video. This area here that we're walking through is called Level Up. It's an adults-only arcade uh, featuring games like beer pong and pool tables and pinball machines. And there are bars throughout this area. And again, it's adults-only. It's open until about 4 a.m. It's really fun. Level Up also has specialty evenings with uh, special DJs and karaoke nights and stuff like that. I haven't played beer pong in probably 10 or 12 years. Next time I'm in this area, I'm going to pick a game right here. I'm pretty good at the game, and as most of you know, that means I don't get to drink much during the match. But if we're wagering, I go home a winner. And we're coming up on the theater where David Copperfield has had a residency for years and years and years, it seems, in this town. Copperfield has become known as the world's greatest illusionist. Friends and family will tell you that I'm a pretty good illusionist myself. I've been known to make wine disappear right in front of your eyes very quickly. As you can see, David has won tons of awards, including Emmy Awards, and he's been voted the King of Magic, so uh, he must be pretty good. I saw his act years ago on television, but I pretty much don't believe anything I see on TV. I only believe what I see on YouTube. This is the reception area of the MGM Grand, and there appears to be a HLTH convention going on, and we can tell by the blue banners and the blue sweater that Leo's wearing. Leo, being a corporate team player, will do anything for a buck. But I gotta say, he looks pretty good in that sweater. Next area in this video is called The Park, and it's a new dining and entertainment district on the Las Vegas Strip. It's nestled between the T-Mobile Arena, Park MGM, and the New York, New York Resort. The park is an outdoor destination for the whole family, and it includes a 40-foot tall sculpture called Bliss Dance, which is on public display as a centerpiece to the art of the park.
bliss dance looks nice in the daytime but it looks beautiful at night when it's lit up there's also a number of popular restaurant options with many happy hour specials making the park a perfect place to eat before or after a show at the t-mobile arena Next up is the Park MGM, which uh, just recently opened the Italy Italian Shopping Center. It's a really cool place, and you should check it out on the link above. Just a reminder, in case you missed part one of this series, Italy is just one of many of the places that we're just walking through on this tour. The detailed tours are available on this channel elsewhere, so check for links. The Italy video on this channel is very popular. I didn't come here to eat, but I can't help myself. Every time I walk through Italy, I just start getting hungry. As we enter the Park MGM, uh, the first thing on the left you'll notice is La La Noodle, which is known to be the best Asian noodle place in the entire city. And this is House of Gaga. Lady Gaga has a short residency here at the Park MGM. Uh, this is kind of like an ode to her. It's almost like a museum. These are all outfits and shoes that she's worn through the years. The infamous meat dress that she wore years ago is not on display here and that's probably a good thing because it would be pretty rank by now. There's that egg that four muscle dudes carried her into some award show. I don't remember the award show. If you do remember, please comment below. This stuff is pretty interesting. I'm going to come back when it's open and check it all out. All right, let's walk around the rest of the park MGM and check out the rest of the places in this video. If you haven't noticed yet, there's a bar in every casino in the center of the casino. Uh, you lose a little money, you want to take a break and go for a drink. You go for that drink or two or three, and then you go back to the casino and you lose a lot of money. Just some shops and restaurants here at the Park MGM. This is the Park MGM reception area and there's really no reception desk. It's a whole bunch of kiosks where you get pretty much individualized attention here. So that's really cool. Listen up closely here. Elvis Presley, who apparently now is in a scooter, pays me the ultimate compliment. Douchebag, old man. Wait a minute, did I hear that right? Douchebag, old man. Mr. Presley, I'll have you know I am not an old man. And we are now in front of the Waldorf Astoria, which used to be, until just very recently, the Mandarin Oriental.
And on the left here is Bobby's Burger Palace, Bobby Flay's Burger Joint, uh, which was featured just very recently in a video of mine on this channel, the Best Burger on the Strip Challenge. Check that burger challenge out by clicking on the link above. Not much to see here at the Waldorf. Uh, there is no casino or shopping malls. However, its location makes it a prime spot to stay because it's surrounded by everything. It's pretty fancy schmancy and therefore a little on the expensive side. This area of the strip that we're heading into is known as the city center and is home to some very unusual architecture. Those two yellowish buildings are the Veer buildings. They appear to be leaning in different directions and no, that's not my wide angle lens. They are actually leaning. The towers were completed in 2010 and are residential towers. The city center area is loaded with some funky art and sculptures and it sets itself up for some pretty cool photo opportunities. Some of the buildings included inside the city center are the Waldorf Astoria, which we just were uh, at, the Veer Towers, which we just discussed, and we're heading towards the Aria Hotel and Casino, which we're going to visit next, uh, and also the Shops at Crystals, which is a upscale mall here at the city center and in the center of the Strip. Uh, all these videos, well, at least the Aria and the Shops at Crystals are available on other videos in detail on this channel. That overhead tram that just went by connects several MGM properties, including the Park MGM, the Aria, the Shops at Crystals, and the Bellagio. It is separate from the tram that connects the Mandalay Bay, the Luxor, and the Excalibur, which are again all MGM properties, but that's a separate tram. There's also a tram on this side of the street that connects the Mirage to the TI, or Treasure Island. Uh, the Mirage being an MGM property and the TI not being one, so that's unusual. Uh, we're going to hop on some of these trams just to see what they look like and how quickly they travel. And they're not to be confused by the uh, township monorail, which is on the other side of the street and connects a lot of properties as well, all the way up to the convention center. When you walk around the Aria property, you get the feeling that it's really made for the young and the affluent. That kind of sounds like a soap opera. Thank you for tuning in to the young and the affluent. I'm really digging this marble floor. The Aria, as you probably noticed, has lots of hard surfaces, not so many upholstered surfaces. There's no carpets around here or upholstered chairs. Lots of marble, wood, glass, metal, uh, that kind of a feeling. There's always some kind of floral arrangement in this atrium. Every time I visit, um, it's, I guess they change it every season. Uh, right now it's fall, so this is a fall arrangement. But it's really beautiful, and it's always here. It just changes every season. And again, as you can see, lots and lots of hard surfaces, glass and marble here. It does work, though, on the Vegas Strip. I'm assuming if it was in a more northern uh, location, it would leave me a little chilly. Those are autumn-colored leaves coming down those columns. I just wanted to capture this window display. It's pretty cool. It's from uh, Patisserie, which is a pastry and ice cream shop here at the Aria. Lots more falling leaves as we head into the reception area.
Not one chair cushion in the entire place. I guess you can tell an Aria resident, they're the ones going home with the sore legs and butts from all these hard surfaces. Now we're heading towards Catch, which is a very upscale restaurant. It's a Asian-influenced sushi, seafood, and steak restaurant. Uh, it also offers one of the better photo opportunities on this trip. There's so many, but this is a really nice one, and it does change every season. So uh, if you get your camera in hand, this is a good place to stop. And again, for a more detailed tour of the area, check out the link above. Like I said, there's lots of beautiful art and architecture here at the city center section of the strip. Uh, we're leaving the area right now and heading towards the shops at Crystals. They are attached, so you don't have to actually come outside, but it's a beautiful day and I wanted to show you some of what's going on out here. Um, so let's head in there and see what's going on at the shops at Crystals. As you can see, the mall is very upscale. You won't find a Spencer's or a Sparrow or a Dress Barn here. But if you did well in the casinos and you're shopping for that $15,000 handbag or those $8,000 sunglasses, you've come to the right place. I do a thorough walkthrough of the Shops at Crystals on another video on this channel, so check it out. As we walk along this overhead walkway, which I believe is going over Harmon Avenue, we're heading towards the Cosmopolitan which is another MGM property, I'm beginning to think they own everything on this side of the Strip. The Cosmopolitan is a very popular destination for travelers because it's the only hotel casino on the Strip that has balconies. And if you've got deep pockets, or you know how to tip and turn on the charm, you just might get a balcony overlooking the Bellagio Fountains which are on the other side of this hotel. There are several of these large shoes here for photo opportunities. And this is a three-story chandelier for a nightclub, a three-story nightclub, called, guess what? The Chandelier. The chandelier itself is extremely large at three stories, has a bazillion crystals, not that I counted them all, and I really don't think they're crystal, I believe they're plastic, and lots and lots of purple lighting. I hopped on this glass elevator just to get a good shot of the chandelier and the inside of the club itself. This is the reception area of the Cosmopolitan. And again, there's a more detailed uh, walkthrough and tour of the Cosmopolitan on another video on this channel, so check it out.
And as we leave through the uh, main front entrance on the strip of the Cosmopolitan, we take one last look and start heading towards the Bellagio, which is our next stop as we start heading north again on the strip. This is where the Bellagio's famous fountain show takes place. Uh, every 15 minutes or a half hour, depending upon the time of day and the season. Since we're doing a quick walkthrough of the hotel casinos as well as attractions on the Strip, we're not going to wait for the fountain show today. Um, however, guess what? They are available on another video on this channel. Just click the link above or in the description below. This is the reception area and the reception piano bar at the Bellagio. Uh, notice the beautiful stained glass flowers on the ceiling above. And we're heading towards the Bellagio Conservatory, which is a beautiful flower show. It changes uh, four times a year with the seasons. It's free, and it's a must-see if you're visiting Vegas. Um, we are going to walk past it today. We uh, will visit it again in another video. Actually, there's two videos, one that I just did recently here in the fall and another one that I did in the spring. So make sure you check those two videos out as well. Like most casinos on the Strip, the Bellagio Casino is somewhat dark. However, the hotel is nice and bright and airy. Let's take a quick peek at one of the pools here. One of the biggest and coolest chocolate fountains I've ever seen. It features dark milk and white chocolate. You may be wondering, hey Jeff from New York, why are you taking video of watches? Well, just a side note observation that I've made a long time ago, and I don't know if you've noticed, but what do all these watches have in common? It's always 10 minutes after 10. Not just in the portraits in the background, but all the display watches as well. And it's not just this Omega store either. Go ahead, put this video on pause and grab a magazine and try to find a watch ad. I guarantee you that watch will say 10 minutes after 10. Look at a watch billboard on the highway, 10 minutes after 10. A television commercial, 10 minutes after 10. There, I freaked you out enough, let's go on with the tour. This piano bar is a classy place to stop and do some people watching. I can picture Lovey and Thurston Howell sitting down here for a cocktail. And if you don't know who they are, 
Perhaps Elvis was right. I am an old man. And just a quick walk through the uh, Bellagio Casino. A quick one because video cameras are pretty much frowned upon in most casinos. As a matter of fact, I visited a casino off of Fremont Street in an upcoming video uh, and they demanded that I delete all my files in my camera. I refused to do so and left. An upscale hotel and casino such as the Bellagio deserves upscale shops, and it certainly has them. Hey, look at the watches in the background. It must be 10 after 10. There's several high-end restaurants here on the uh, right-hand side, and if you can get a window seat, you must be a VIP because they face the beautiful fountains. And speaking of fountains, we're on the border of the Bellagio and Caesar's Palace. The fountains that you'll see going forward here all belong to Caesar's Palace. These particular fountains right in front of us are famous for being the ones that Evil Knievel, the motorcycle daredevil, attempted to jump over decades ago uh, and failed, breaking almost every bone in his body. And there's the man himself. No, not Evil Knievel. Caesar. There's some beautiful sculptures inside and outside of this complex of Roman gods and goddesses. the reception area of Caesar's Palace. There's the man again. I can almost hear him say, Friends, Romans, leave me your cash. This is Caesar's sports book. It's pretty large, but not as large as the one at Westgate, uh, which is really the biggest one I think I've ever seen. And that's a video coming up in the future. Madonna's Madam X tour will be stopping by here, I believe for three days in the far future, but the tickets were already very difficult to get. I just checked the Caesars uh, website and the orchestra seats are going for $2,000 a pop. If you're known to drop some coin in the Caesars casino, you just might get a free ticket. This is Lisa Vanderpump's Cocktail Lounge. If you don't know who Lisa Vanderpump is, well, you're not the only one. She's one of those people famous for pretty much doing nothing.
And as we wind down our tour of the South Central Strip, we are going to visit the forum shops at Caesars, which is Caesars Mall. Hey, look, it's 10 after 10. Okay, I'll stop. The Caesars head chairs are everywhere around here. This is the Fountain of the Gods. Again, some beautiful sculptures in this complex. I'm not sure what hotel and casino complex can be the first to claim that they painted their ceilings with a sky motif and lit it up beautifully. Uh, it's seen several areas along the strip, most notably here in the Venetian. If you want to see a detailed video tour of the forum shops, just check the link above. And don't forget to check out all four parts of this series of the hotel, casinos, and attractions along the Las Vegas Strip from south to north. Finally, these are the spiral escalators at the forum shops. To this day, I'm baffled. I just don't know how this works. Anyway, gotta go. It's 10 after 10. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.